Hello everyone, it's Matt here, and if I told you that you had to pay £21.44 import duty for that, would you be surprised? Um, and I say that, it's a very small parcel for that £21.44 uh, import duty, but of course that's based on the value of the package, and this has something very valuable to me in it. It's something I actually backed on Kickstarter, um, I believe. And then obviously I bought some add-ons in the uh, later bits of the campaign when they opened the store. Um, so let's go into it. Um, a few hints about it. Um, it is from Canada. Um, so some of you may pick up on that. Um, I'll actually put the address here. Um, it comes from Ottawa. Um, so some people may be aware of what that means. Um, and it is something... It isn't. It is Lego, but not... From Lego, if you like, it is. But it, nonetheless, it is going to be something important. So I'm just going to get some paperwork out of the way because there's always some of that. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you a PFX brick, an eight megabyte one. Um, so, some of you may be a bit curious and sort of go, "What's P? What's a PFX brick?" Well, PFX brick is a brick designed to replace the standard LEGO IR receiver, but given a few more options and a few more benefits. So this is an 8 meg megabyte version, and you might be sort of asking, well, why 8 meg? Um, well, the thing is, is that the PFX brick can actually do sound. So it's got the IR receivership of a standard PFX brick, or a power functions control uh, section. Um, it's got two outputs, the same as the others, but it's also got a specialist lighting output and it's also got a connectivity for a speaker and it's also got USB uh, panel on it for firmware updates. So I said there's extras, so obviously there's APFX brick there. There's also five LEDs, so these are uh, Pico LEDs, so there's it says there's four because there's no packaging, but there's actually four in that uh, bag and one in the other. So there's a total of five there. Um, and there is also a couple of extra pieces in here, right at the bottom of the box. So, yeah, that's, so we have a medium speaker. And we also have the uh, Pico Lab Duo for connecting into the um, actual PFX brick itself. So what have I back this for and what I bought this for. Well, there's a very specific reason I backed this, and it's actually for the brick liner. Um, so some of you might obviously be aware that the brick liner at the moment was in a bit of a testing stage and it was using a standard power functions receiver and a couple of motors. Um, so why have I gone for this sort of setup? There's actually a couple of reasons. It's uh, partly for sound, so I can actually fit it with sound. Um, and obviously, being a four-cylinder engine and having the wheels at different rotations, um, it will produce a very different sound to what you may expect from a, a regular steam engine. Um, there's lighting there that's separate to normal lighting, so I can actually do some prof nice uh, things with it. Um, so, because there's five um, sort of LEDs, I can have two for headlights, Two for backup light, uh, two for rear lights, um, another one as a backup light. Um, but there are actually eight functions uh, on this board. There's 18 different outputs, but there's uh, eight different functions as far as I'm aware. So, or possibly four with four outputs. So what I can do is actually fit um, four sets of lights, uh, headlights at the front, or a headlight at the front, um, backup lights on the tender, um, red lights on the tender to indicate it's you know uh, that's the it's just the loco um, and I can also fit on um, a cab light for example or possibly a firebox um, glow and obviously these um, the, the PFX brick actually has the ability to set functions uh, for the output so turning it on and off uh, pulsating and a few other bits and pieces so I could actually use it to represent a sort of glowing effect if I wanted to represent um, for example, a coal fire or something like that, which could be very useful. Um, so there's a few other things in the box. There's a um, uh, an invoice, which contains my personal information, which you're not going to see. Um, but it also includes a declaration of conformity. Um, 
So it confirms to the following standards. Uh, so it's got USA, Canada, Canada, and the European Union. So it sort of says, now here's what it can blank with. Um, and it's also uh, mentions Bluetooth as well, because it's Bluetooth compatible. So it's a very detailed uh, sheet of paper, despite the fact it's so small. And lastly, there's also a little business card there for FX bricks, or PFX bricks, rather. Um, so that is one very revolutionary, if expensive, um, little package from Canada. Um, so obviously I'm going to not use it straight away. Um, there's a few other bits to do. Um, I primarily want to get the um, Brickliner chassis, or the Loco chassis, to a reasonable state. Um, so build it, build it up to a reasonable, reasonably finished state, um, have it all working. Um, and then in, uh, on normal power functions, and then obviously um, fit some of this in, and then I can obviously do some testing and uh, put that up on the channel. Um, so that's it from this little unboxing, uh, and I'm Matt, and hope you'll see me in the next video.